Welcome to my channel, American Report. Subscribe to my channel for news updates all around the world. In May 2025, the United States made a bold and unprecedented move, suspending export licenses for the Leap 1C engines that power China's C919 jet. This decision sent shockwaves through the global aviation industry, as the Leap 1C is a critical component, co-developed by American and French companies, and essential for the C919's operation. The sudden halt in engine shipments immediately put the spotlight on the fragile interdependence between the world's two largest economies. This wasn't just a routine, trade, spat. It was a direct challenge to China's technological ambitions and a warning shot in the escalating U.S.-China rivalry. The move was widely interpreted as a signal that the U.S. was willing to use its technological leverage to slow China's progress in high-value industries. The timing was critical, halting COMAX production just as it aimed to ramp up deliveries of its flagship aircraft. Factories that had been buzzing with activity suddenly fell silent, and workers were left waiting, uncertain about the future of the program. The C919, a symbol of China's ambitious Made in China 2025 initiative, suddenly faced an existential threat. The jet was meant to showcase China's ability to compete with Boeing and Airbus, but now its fate was in question. For a brief but tense period, the entire program hung in the balance, exposing just how much China's aviation dream still depended on foreign technology. Engineers and executives scrambled to assess the impact, while airlines reconsidered their orders. The suspension, though temporary, forced Beijing to confront its vulnerability and sparked a fierce debate about technological sovereignty. Chinese policymakers urgently discussed how to accelerate domestic innovation and reduce reliance on Western suppliers. Even after export licenses resumed and production lines restarted, the message was unmistakable. Future disruptions could be longer, more unpredictable, and far more damaging to China's ambitions. The C919 was no longer just a commercial project. It had become a flashpoint in the global tech rivalry, a symbol of the high stakes and deep uncertainties shaping the future of international aviation. The C919's greatest strength and its most glaring vulnerability lies in its Leap 1C engine, a marvel of engineering built by a US-French joint venture. This engine is the heart of the aircraft, providing the power, efficiency, and reliability that allow the C919 to compete with the best in the world. But this very advantage comes with a significant catch. The advanced Leap 1C engine gives the C919 a much-needed competitive edge, enabling it to match the performance of established Western jets. However, this technological leap also means that COMAC is completely dependent on Western supply chains for its most critical component. Every engine, every spare part, and every technical update must pass through a complex web of international approvals and logistics. When the US government suspended exports of the Leap 1C, it exposed just how vulnerable the entire C919 program was to geopolitical decisions made far from China's borders. Suddenly the future of the aircraft was at the mercy of international politics. Without access to the Leap 1C, COMAC found itself unable to deliver jets that met modern safety and efficiency standards. Production lines slowed, and the C919, once a symbol of China's technological ambition, became a stark example of how dependency can undermine even the most promising projects. The brief but impactful blockade forced China's aviation industry to confront a hard truth. Relying on foreign technology for critical projects carries enormous risks. It sparked urgent discussions among engineers, executives, and policymakers about the need for self-reliance. Even after export licenses were restored, the threat of future supply cuts continues to hang over the program. The uncertainty keeps everyone on edge, knowing that a single political decision could once again halt progress overnight. The engine remains the C919's Achilles heel, a single point of failure that could undermine years of investment, research, and national pride. It's a vulnerability that cannot be ignored. Yet this crisis has also become a powerful catalyst, accelerating China's push to develop a homegrown alternative. The race is now on to ensure that the next generation of Chinese jets will soar on engines built entirely at home. The US export curbs triggered immediate production chaos for COMAC, Ambitious plans to deliver 30 jets in 2025 were derailed, only seven were delivered, far short of targets. The delays frustrated airlines and raised doubts about COMAC's ability to compete with Airbus and Boeing. 
The engine supply issue was the main culprit, but it also exposed the fragility of global supply chains. Any disruption to a critical part like an engine can cascade through the entire assembly line. The episode was a harsh lesson. Building a plane is one thing, but building a resilient industrial ecosystem is far harder. The C9-119's slow rollout has tempered initial excitement and cast a shadow over its near-term prospects. The engine blockade lit a fire under China's quest for self-reliance. The CJ-1000A, a domestic alternative to the Leap 1C, became a national priority almost overnight. Resources poured into the project, with the goal of freeing the C919 from Western supply chains. But building a world-class jet engine is a monumental challenge. Mastery of advanced materials, engineering, and reliability takes years. The CJ-1000A is still in testing and not yet ready for commercial use, and many subsystems may still rely on imports. True technological independence in aerospace is a marathon, not a sprint. Still, every successful test brings China closer to breaking the West's grip on jet engine technology. The C919's future may one day be powered by a heart built entirely in China, reshaping the global industry. Despite its Chinese branding, the C919 is a product of global collaboration. This ambitious project, spearheaded by Comac, has drawn on expertise and technology from around the world to bring it to life. Its critical systems, engines, avionics, flight controls, are sourced from dozens of Western suppliers. These components are the lifeblood of the aircraft, ensuring its performance and safety standards meet international benchmarks. U.S. companies like GE, Honeywell, and Collins Aerospace provide the core technology that makes the jet fly. Their contributions are indispensable, from the powerful engines to the sophisticated avionics that guide the aircraft. This deep integration was a pragmatic choice, but it created a web of dependencies now seen as strategic risks. The reliance on foreign technology means that any geopolitical tension could disrupt the supply chain. Every Western component is a potential choke point, vulnerable to export controls and political shifts. This vulnerability has become a significant concern for China as it seeks to assert its independence in the aerospace sector. The C919 was meant to break China's dependence on foreign jets but ironically, it's one of the clearest examples of that dependence. The juxtaposition of the C919 with Boeing and Airbus jets highlights this paradox. Beijing is now pushing to replace foreign parts with domestic alternatives but, this is a massive, long-term undertaking. The challenge lies not just in manufacturing these components, but in ensuring they meet the rigorous standards required for commercial aviation. The drive for self-sufficiency now extends beyond engines to every critical system on the aircraft. This includes avionics, landing gear, and other essential components, all of which are crucial for the aircraft's overall functionality and safety. The C919's journey is as much about reducing dependency as it is about building a competitive jet. It symbolizes China's broader ambitions in the aerospace industry, aiming to create a self-reliant and globally competitive aviation sector. The C919 story plays out amid a broader US-China rivalry, with aerospace as a key battleground. Export controls and retaliatory measures have destabilized global supply chains, making multinational cooperation risky. China has responded with its own economic leverage, including restrictions on rare earth exports. This tit-for-tat dynamic creates deep uncertainty for companies caught between political and commercial pressures. Western suppliers face the risk of being locked out of China or penalized at home. The era of open, globalized aerospace is giving way to decoupling and localized manufacturing. The c 919 struggles are a powerful symbol of this shift. Its fate will be a barometer for the future of international tech cooperation in an age of great power competition. The C919 is certified to fly in China, but global ambitions are blocked by a lack of FAA and ESA approval. Without these certifications, the jet is confined to Chinese airspace and a handful of friendly countries. Gaining international certification is a long, rigorous process, especially for a new manufacturer like Comac. Political tensions could further complicate and delay the process. 
Comac is showcasing the C919 abroad, targeting markets in the Middle East, Africa, and Southeast Asia. But most airlines and regulators look to FAA and ASA standards, making sales outside China difficult. For now, the C919's market is almost entirely domestic. Until it earns its global license to fly, breaking the Western duopoly remains out of reach. The C919's first and most important test is at home, in China's booming aviation market. With nearly 10,000 new jets needed by 2044, the stakes are enormous. State backing gives Comac a unique advantage, but the C919 faces tough competition from Airbus, which is expanding production in China. The battle will be fought on performance, reliability, and economics, not just patriotism. Chinese airlines are sophisticated buyers, the C919 must prove it can match or beat the A320 Neo on key metrics. Success at home is essential for any future global ambitions. If Comac can win significant market share against Airbus, it will send a powerful signal worldwide. The domestic duel is more than a local skirmish, it's a proving ground for the C919's credibility. The outcome will shape the jet's destiny for years to come. Analysts see the C919's journey as a marathon, not a sprint. In the short term, its growth will be almost entirely domestic, supported by state-directed orders. This gives Comac time to refine the jet and build a service record without global commercial pressures. Breaking the Boeing Airbus duopoly will take decades, not years. Building a global support network is as challenging as building the aircraft itself. Ironically, the U.S. engine blockade may have accelerated China's drive for technological independence. The C919 may struggle globally in the 2020s, but the investments it spurs could lead to a truly competitive all-Chinese jet in the future. The finish line is far away, but China has shown it's determined to run the race.